What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Please follow my Instagram at Russo Lifts just in case something happens to this YouTube channel. You can follow, message, and you can watch my daily story content on Instagram. I'll see you there. Specifically above 150 a day, but I'll say that it's bothersome for me. Like when I would leave yeah. a bright gym at night and then yeah, go sucks. out into the dark, it's just like that switch or when I, takes for when i used ever. to go rave uh you know it was nighttime and i was like you know fucked up on on the mdma or something like that uh you know i had to grab my friends you know hands because they they had to literally physically guide me towards the main set because i could not see anything because it's so dark like you have bright lights in front of you that's you know everything's flashing but you know below you know waist level everything's dark and I couldn't see shit. And you know, I... Alex telling everyone how to upgrade their <laughs> yeah. rave game. So, with so now I was like, I was like, <laughs> don't see anything yeah, there. So just... I had to, I had to basically, you know, uh, lie that I have some fucking um, uh, genetic, you know, um, some uh, genetic polymorphism. Hey, you, you yeah, forgot your yeah, glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's the, it. I wear contact lenses actually, actually, but I I, I, I told that I have a genetic polymorphism where you know I have problems seeing at night, um, and you know because if, if I say that I take a SARM or a, a drug that it's geared towards muscle building and it fucks with my eyesight at night, like people will be like, why are, why are you not stopping it, right? Like I would look like a f well, that, no, no, this know, is like, a great point because. This temporary side effect yes. puts yeah. everyone off it. And even when I was I was interrogated during my ESPN interview, they're like, oh, it it, it makes you go blind. And I remember right. they, they cut that part up, put that in. But I'm like, yeah, it's only temporary. Like once this arm exactly. half-life's out, it's yeah. done, right? It's just like that little thing just puts everyone off S4 despite all I'm the benefits and the the promising effects that it's, we mentioned earlier. It's a matter of finding the appropriate dosage, you know, like why would you go to that extent where you're getting the side effects, the visual side effects, just try to, you know, uh, shoot for the dose where you don't get that. Um, and I've never seen any. I think at the high dosages, you get extremely strong yes. and vascular. Yeah. Like it's like not one of those SARMs where like, like yeah. we're like Austrian. I'm like the cutoff points, like 40 milligrams, like S4, the more you ramp it yeah. up, the more I feel like it feels like I get more efficacious results. I took as it I as ramp high it. as three or 400 meters. Uh, in my personal experience, I think Jeez. about 150. No, Are you like, blind? Uh, so at around 150 meters, it seemed to cap as far as like both uh, side effects and results. I'm talking about oral administration. When I did the um, intramuscular one with the uh, injectable SARMs, like that really, like that, that fucking blinded me. I took 50 mix per day and I couldn't see shit. Like I was, I, I couldn't see shit to the point. Of, <laughs> it's probably comparable to like half a gram like, a day. I couldn't oh. leave the house. Like it's like when I woke up, you know, I opened my eyes and everything is green, even in bright daylight. Uh, and you know, if I were to try to enter an elevator, the moment that door shuts, I'm fucking blind. So I was like, Shh, you know, I'm not doing this. I stopped obviously, you know, three or four days later. Was there like a, a performance benefit of that much injectable? Like, did you make it to the gym? Did you use like a walking no, stick no, to no. get to the gym? No, there was and, like, no way I could way go there? to the gym. Like I was legitimately blind. You know, like it was so bad. You know, that's something that you know th there was no way it can function. So, um, but uh, you know, the, the interesting thing is that it never uh, 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 impacted my blood work. Uh, never, you know, had any problems with cholesterol. Um, any problems with uh, uh, liver enzymes, kidney uh, parameters. So, like, even at super high doses um, for months. So. That's why I really liked it, because and also that proves that it's very low endogenic, uh, and its uh, its endogenicity is preferable. Right. So um, you know that's why you know stuck uh, stuck with that. Uh, to for the most part, I tried Austrian, I tried S twenty three, I tried you know uh, almost all of them, and you know most of them felt like. It. 
Well, S23 is like S4 on steroids, but you yes, get exactly. Of hair but still, like the problem is, if I want to take steroids, I'll just take the real thing. If uh, uh, you know, most of the other arms, when you either increase the dosages to a certain extent, or even at low dosages, some really suck as far as their selectivity um, and their efficacy in, in uh, activation of the androgen receptor, and they basically just give you, you know, even worse side effects potentially. Uh, than um, gear. So, like, LGD. Um, Did you play around with injectable yes. LGD and injectable uh, not, YK11? Not YK11. I'll, the I'll injectable LGD, that. I think it was 43 or 3. Uh, that that wrecked my yeah. lipid panel so bad. And I talked with Derek, yeah. I said, uh, and he sent me his blood work. Uh, and, like, he, he told me as well, nothing... Uh, has really fucked his, his spinal up like injectable LGD. So, you know, I just came off, you know, right off the bat because um, we, we, you know, were experimenting both at the same time with it um, based off of what Tony was suggesting to us. And I was like, nope, fuck this. Um, and so was he. And, uh, you know, I st- that's when I stopped, uh, you know, dabbing into injectable SARMs or even, you know, other SARMs. Yeah, injectable Austrian was straight poison for me. That's when I quit everything. But I did suffer through the mm-hmm. LGD, and I had probably the craziest results out of any of my cycles when I look back. So obviously it was worse side right. effects than steroids, but that was one of those freaky compounds to where, like, metabolically, it didn't matter how much food I pounded. Like, I was just staying at the same body fat going up. And I started at like 220-ish pounds, and I ended that cycle at 250 pounds, and that's completely 100% video documented on YouTube. It's not like I'm talking Mm -hmm. out of my ass. You can go watch the vlogs, but it was not good for me.